Take you live inside MTS Center for the Aboriginal People Choice Music Awards. Lots of folks there watching as uh, the celebrities come in to MTS Center for the award show tonight. John Hendricks is there as well. We'll check in with him later. Colleen's back though with your Skywatch forecast and weather picks next. Some of the best and brightest talent in Aboriginal music from across North America are here in Winnipeg tonight. I'm John Hendricks, live on the red carpet at the Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards. We will show you all the excitement from here coming up later on in the show. People's Choice Awards. John Hendricks live on the red carpet at the People's Choice Music Awards. We are getting closer to showtime. Coming up after the break, I'll show you why at least one Winnipeg artist is going to be very nervous tonight. CT. CT. It's a night of glitz and glamour. A night celebrating the very best in Aboriginal music. It's the Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards. Now dozens of Aboriginal stars from across North America are walking the red carpet tonight at the MTS Centre. And that's where CTV's John Hendricks is tonight. John, what can we expect this evening? Well, Colleen, you are going to be hearing a lot of great music and you will be seeing a lot really big stars. Of course, tonight there's also going to be a few awards handed out. In fact, there'll be 12 awards this evening. This includes the Best Aboriginal Artist of the Year, both male and female. Now, one of the artists nominated for Best Aboriginal Artist Male is Winnipeg singer Don Amaro. He is certainly no stranger to nominations at this award show. He's received 20 nominations over the last five years. Of course, he has yet to win a single one. Uh, last night at the non-televised portion of the show, he uh, lost out to Indian City for best pop CD. Luckily, he has two more chances to win this evening, and it should be a very good show hosted by Lauren Cardinal from Corner Gas. Our grand entry at the top of the show is always breathtaking and chilling. You get you get so much uh, energy off it. I'm backstage, and I can feel it from back there. It's just people's excitement and pride at watching their people, their dancers come in and dance around and, and you see everyone just stand 10 feet tall because it's pride, it's, it's, it's us out there. And Underway this evening. Colleen, I just want to let you know the show gets underway at 8 o'clock. It'll be on APTN. I'm going to be here all evening long, and I'll have a full report at 11.30. Thanks a lot, John. That's CTV's John Hendricks reporting. Well, even after the bright lights of the awards have dimmed, Manitowabi isn't over. In fact, it's just getting started. Saturday is the kickoff of the International Powwow Competition. Hundreds of dancers will be at MTS Centre for the annual event. Learning the dance moves isn't easy, and each dancer can spend many months making their intricate regalia. I know with our traditional women's dresses, it could take up to months and months for that. Um, sometimes the ladies do it on their own, um, and sometimes the ladies have family helping them because of the shawls are so big and heavy. Uh, preparation can take maybe a year. The Pow Wow competition runs through Sunday. I'm Abdul Halim. One of the city's biggest musical events of the year happens tonight, and we'll be live on the red carpet for the Aboriginal People's Choice Awards, coming up tonight on CBC News, Winnipeg. The 7th Annual Manitowabi Festival is in full swing in our city tonight. The week-long festival celebrates Aboriginal culture and Aboriginal music. A big part of the festivities is tonight's Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards. CBC's Adal Halim joins us live now with more. In just a few minutes, this red carpet will be buzzing with activity here at the MTS Centre. Organizers say it's a night to celebrate Indigenous culture and heritage with the world. Earlier today, I caught up with one artist who took home some hardware last night. Gabriel Ayala is a well-traveled and accomplished musician. And just last night, he won an Aboriginal People's Choice Music Award. But it's opportunities to give back to the youth, whether it's a guitar pick or a piece of advice that he says gives him the most joy. Of trying to push into mainstream, it's really important for me as a, as a Native American or First Nations people I know they're referred to here in Canada, is to help break those stereotypes, further break the stereotypes of who we are as a people. What's your name? They stole this book. 
Meeting a positive role model like Ayala was a chance of a lifetime for 15-year-old Nicole Lafort. Singing since she was just three years old, she says music is her life. I like singing because it like, makes me happy all the time. Gordon Parisian's perfect school attendance was what earned him a trip from Seguin First Nation to a ticket to tonight's award show. I feel kind of honored because I like to be a good kid and everything and where I come from is a, is a bad place so it makes me extra proud. A big part of the week-long Manitoabi Festival is this youth education conference. Nicole and Gordon's teacher says she's proud her students took full advantage of the networking opportunity. To me this was like a huge resource thing, right? Our students got business cards and um, for the music. The music and the sharing of Manitowabi Festival continues all weekend. Adil Halim, CBC News, Winnipeg. Thanks, Adil. I'm thrilled to be one of the presenters, actually, at tonight's award ceremony. You can check out our website, cbc.ca slash Manitoba, and you'll find the full Manitowabi Festival schedule. If you get a chance to check out anything live, please go check it out. It's really cool. Coming up at 6, we'll have a live interview with the nominee, Don Amaro. It is Thousands of people will pack into the MTS Center tonight for a major event. A major happy event. That's good. They're getting ready to celebrate the Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards, and I'm thrilled to be a presenter, actually. CBC's Adil Halim joins us now live from the red carpet. The red carpet is just about to get underway here at the MTS Centre, but as you can see, fans are already lined up to see their heroes. This is the seventh edition of the Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards. Hosted here, it attracts fans and artists from across the continent. But right now I'm joined by a hometown singer-songwriter, Don Amaro. Don, yesterday, you know, you won your first uh, APMC award. H how did it feel? Uh, it was pretty good. It was, was kind of like a half win because I won it with my other band, Indian City. So we were both in the same category. So I'm not going to lie, I voted for myself, but, but I, you know, either way, it's a good, good chance to get up there with the band. And, and, and you know, a half win is, a, is better than a no win. So. And you got a chance for two wins tonight. You're yeah. nominated twice. Uh, how are you feeling tonight? I, I feel good. I mean, I've, I've been, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an old hat around here. So this is, for me, it's something I'm getting quite used to. And uh, I, I just love getting around together with everybody and seeing old friends. So that's what it's all about. Do you have some nerves right now? Uh, a little bit, you know, I mean, anytime there's, there's that potential of them calling your name, you want to make sure you get up and don't make a fool of yourself, don't trip, all those things, you know, but uh, yeah, there's a little bit of butterflies, but I'm working it, I'm working it. All right, well, good luck tonight, Don. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, back to you in the studio, Janet. Thanks very much. It is... Feet were flying as dozens of dancers took over MTS Center. <laughs> A colorful grand entry kicked off the international competition powwow. It showcases traditional and contemporary styles of dance, drumming and singing. This powwow is one of the largest in North America. It's all part of the Manitowabi Festival, which continues all weekend. When Seeing as the Jets aren't playing, it was nice to see someone battling it out at ice level at MTS Center. <laughs> Hundreds of traditional Aboriginal dancers from across North America took part in a powwow competition today. The event closed out the final day of the Manitowabi Festival and the Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards. The week-long festival, now in its seventh year, hosted numerous events around the city. Organizers say the powwow can bring out a lot of emotion. I cry all the time because, you know, one, you know, we know our history, but it's such an incredible celebration. And to see the grand entry with 1,500 dancers is so amazing. Also tonight. It's a venue for us to, to celebrate and to share our culture with the world. A showcase of Aboriginal culture wraps up. It's been a busy and colorful weekend at MTS Centre. From hoop dancers to hip-hop, Manitowabi offered a little something for everyone. And as CTV's Jillian Taylor reports, the festival brings people together from all over North America. Showing off some fancy footwork, he's just one of hundreds of dancers vying for top honours at Manitowabi. Now in its seventh year, the festival celebrates Aboriginal culture. It's important for our youth uh, and for our, for our adults and our seniors, right, to be able to see after all these years that our culture is still vibrant, that we carry on. The five-day event brings people together from all over North America to showcase their talents, from dancing to drumming to making handicrafts. These girls that have a huge following uh, down in the States, they're originally from Arizona, and so to be up here, um, they can connect with their um, their customers who 
more pure in Canada. The festival also attracts international musicians. Lightning Cloud is a North American hip-hop group based out of Los Angeles, California. This hip-hop duo says winning an Aboriginal People's Choice Music Award is a real honour, especially when they say the majority of voters live in Canada. To see so many beautiful, talented Native people in the room supporting each other is just, you know, it's amazing. For many, the weekend is a chance to catch up. To reconnect with relatives and uh, family from, you know, across the United States, across Canada, um, and, and friends that we've made throughout our travels. Next year, Manitowabe will be held in August to avoid any scheduling conflicts with the NHL season. Jillian Taylor, CTV News, Winnipeg.